Yeah. Well, we got a special guest, you know what I mean? Introduce yourself to the people. Sydney McDonald, CEO of Every Exposure Entertainment. Okay. <laughs> you used to manage Kid Cudi. I did manage Kid Cudi. Now, what happened? <laughs> he said, what happened? What happened? Well, I managed, I managed he went money. from here to normal to right, creative. Right, right. Then right. he went to uh, what yeah. the hell is going on with Well, let's talk right. about where you started. Okay. How, how did you feel when you started off? How did I you mean, come I, about? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was not a Big Cuddy fan. Cutty right. fan. I mean, you, you probably yeah, have to ask Killer Kai. Yeah. Yeah. He had um, about that. Huh? that wonderful song, Day and Night. You think, That's he, you think he was set up real proper? He just he just came out the blue. No, actually, I heard he came out the blue. I yeah. think he, like, he was grinding because I remember Quinn yeah, said some slick yeah. stuff like, uh, I remember when you came with the holes in your sneakers and all this wow. kind of stuff. Yeah. So tell us where, where it all came from. Well, I tell you, really, really, the originated, the originated right here, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, there's always the first, second, third, and fourth quarter to anything. Yeah. You know, that first quarter came from me. You know what I'm saying? I think in 2000, I think in um, October 7th, I think he touched down in 2004. Wow. And um, brother over here, my man Lazarus, he kind of brought them. Shout out to Lazarus. My man Laz, yeah, man. Yeah. He brought him to the, he brought him to the table. They, you know, they, I think they met up at like a Verizon casting or something like that. Okay. He sent Lazarus out to. So we were doing a big, uh, 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 what you call it, like a little television sitcom we were working on. Yeah. And uh, we were shopping at the BET, MTV, whatever, uh, sitting the rivalry. So I booked Cuddy on that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He had a little hunger drive. He was here for about a little five weeks um, in the city. And um, I just took interest in him because he had a good personality. He was hungry. He came here one right, one way ticket to New York City. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His mom put him on a flight. You know what I'm saying? So he was really hungry. He had no place to stay or whatever. So I really, you know, I took him under my wing like he was my son. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So um, I booked him on that. Things worked out. And, um, it you know, it grew and it developed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I booked him on a number of different things with Dame Dash and... You know what I'm saying? I just did a whole lot for son and I put on, you know, acting classes, a production deal. You know, we all made You made work. you made the first like a lot of people. Well yeah, I mean I mean you know, I made sure that I I made I did I did what certain managers don't even think of doing in 2012. That we ain't even there yet. I mean, I gotta give you props because yeah, managers man. are supposed to book shows. You actually was like a label for him because you saying that you were, Delta, you know what I mean, clothes, booking studio time, doing this. Like, oh, so well, you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like you know what I mean? What's wrong with what's wrong, what's wrong with wearing three belts instead of one? Yeah. So he was doing the acting. His acting came from yours truly. I two years of acting. You know what I'm saying? With my investment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I brought a few folks that really he recognized the faces. You know what I'm saying? It's just the acknowledgement. You know, to kill any man. So what? So what went wrong? Tell me what went wrong. Well, I don't really know what went wrong. You know what I mean? I can tell you what went right. But what right. went wrong? You know, I could, I could probably, you know, assume that, you know, when you bring people to a certain plateau and they're not really understanding of the business and really didn't put the work in, they really, yeah. they don't really show that lack. They show a lack of appreciation for, for real hard work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as I said, I, I put it to, I put any manager to the test right now that can actually show that they actually put their artists out there on an acting level modeling level and and a major production deal. I mean which you made you which would which allowed you to get shopped at every label. You feel me? Like that's something you don't forget. No one forgets the first quarter of any game. So yeah. you know, and then you know there's so much other personal things that basically allowed us to have a real close business relationship that um, you know, it's just, you know, it hurts sometimes. So, so since you know that? I mean you could tell that you knew it you knew him for a very long time Absolutely, living yeah. with you. What's wrong with him now? Well, so first of all, I want to make sure it's clear. He never really lived with me. All right. A family member came out, you know what I mean, yeah. courtesy of him that's from his family. All right, well, next to Kevin. We, we're yeah, going right. to pass that. Well, well, you know him good. What the hell happened now? How did he transition into what he is? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think that you really have to, and I listened to some of the interviews you had. I watched the show, yeah. and I commend you, man. I really... Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, to be quite honest with Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you actually brought this magazine, I mean, Club, that's going to be in Stunner's Liberal yeah, right Yeah, 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 that's him right there, man. I mean, you watched Dave for a minute, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're also in there, too. Uh, yeah. Page 14, B. Delaney, Sean Johnson, Michaela Page, my artist. But anyway, with that being said, you know I always got a plug, right? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got a plug. I ain't got a plug. Right. I ain't got a plug. Right. 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 I always got a plug. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, what I would say is that I think you really have to, it's like a relationship, any personal relationship I'm going to have. You know how it is. You with a female, you ain't really, you ain't really build with her. You never took it out. You just mad. You call just mad. Nah, 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 nah. I actually, I actually, 
feel like he's just a little bit lost in transition. A lot happened in, this, in a short period of time. Yeah, it seems like he you has no man? guidance. Like, the uh-huh. thing when he was, like, you know, just getting dragged in the car. And <laughs> I didn't understand that. Like, cause I, I thought he was a talented artist. And then the whole 106 and Paul thing, he was, like, um, right. totally off the interview. I think he might have thought, and this is real, so I think he thought I was there. Okay. His last, his last situation on 106 and Park, we kind of talked about it a few things. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to bring the goons to kind of just talk. Oh, sorry. With all due respect, nah, I mean, yeah. I, got, I got respect for him to a certain extent. But, but he remembered that conversation. I was really in his ear, like, you know, that's not how, you know, yeah. grown men supposed to move. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have to feed my family. I'm not in this for, for, for show business. I'm in here. Yeah. I'm in this to make sure that I can feed mine and help develop new artists so they can gain that same opportunity. So what's your relationship with him now? Um, right now, I mean, I can tell you the last time we really kicked it face to face was at 106 and Park. And I got at him and he apologized. And, 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 well, you had like 30 goons? And your boy, your boy Ye was like, we got to get out of here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we got to catch a flight, man. We got to get up out of here. Yeah. So we did the Twitter thing. If you catch Twitter, every exposure, Sydney McDonald, you'll see his last Twitter. You got to go on Twitter. Because I closed that account. He shut his down. But that's his last, mm-hmm. his last message to me. And he's saying that he's doing a rock album now. Absolutely. So what do you think about that? I'm a little confused about that. I think <laughs> the commitment level, I mean, and I want to understand, and I'm not here to bash any artists. I have artists that I want to make sure that they, they don't think that when I represent them, no, I mean, kind of about it, yeah. my whole point is I think that it's a little bit of a slap in the face for committed fans that respected his hip-hop direction. So now we've brain rolled a you know, respect you and love yeah. you like your music, and now you go into a whole other genre, you're leaving people that basically became built relationships with you. And it's kind of similar to what I feel. That's like just changing their name you, went, you almost went like gold just now. You just yeah. gave 500 fans a part of you, uh-huh. and you feel like you want to you want to merge them to a whole other genre of music. In my opinion, I'm looking at it from a standpoint where you're kind of like, stepping away from your fans. He kind of gave up at one point and said, look, I don't want hip-hop no more. I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, how much did you really appreciate the opportunity that I brought before you? But I think that if you listen to Cuddy and you and you know his music, right. and you, you feel that rock. Yeah, tr- right. You feel that, right. and right. in his hip hop music, like, you still get that. Big Kid Cuddy right here. Yeah, I'm not a big Kid <laughs> Cuddy fan, but <laughs> I listened to him from the beginning. Well, you know? he's, a, he's a different type of artist. Yeah, that's exactly. What I, that's what I was look to manage. I always look to manage yeah. a different type of artist. And I, I, I kind of expect it when yeah. you work with Ye, yeah. because Ye has that that type of approach as far as really just being creative. Yeah, you know. Um, but uh, I'm a little shocked when he went left on me. <laughs> I was too. Do you think he's sane? Like, he ain't. It, it, maybe it's something. Is he all there? <laughs> he's in a little bit? You know, but where he's at right now, it takes a real leader. Yeah. And at, at, some, at the point where I knew him, he was really learning and understanding that real quality of development as far as direction. But he's kind of like a, he's a boss now. How do you uh-huh. end up getting affiliated with the mixed martial arts yeah. and bringing it to 30 cities? Around town, how, how does that happen? No, that's 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 a that. beautiful thing, man. I think it's just with hard work. You feel what I'm saying? Hard work, being out there, grinding, throwing the music out there on the blog, and just being a committed manager. You know what I'm saying? You know, people relate to that. People look for stuff like that. So the, um, that UFC uh, MMA MMA melee tour. Yeah. So that's what a thirty what, city tour right there. What, what is that about? about? Well, we on Comcast and we on demand, and um, you know, the UFC is the biggest. You know, upcoming sport right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hands down. Oh, of we're course. talking about 30 million new fans, emerging the art, of the whole entertainment, music, pop, culture, and I'm giving it to them. Same way 50 did it with Mayweather, the same way he did it, you know, with, yeah. that, with that come out, that's what we're doing. Tell me what you got going cool, on. Cool, cool, cool. Well, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So the UFC thing. We got the UFC, my artist, B. Delaney, he's headlining. B. Delaney, all right. He's killing it right What's now. What's your Twitter? Do you have a Twitter? Uh, B. Delaney. You can go on Google. Google. Go B. Dot Delaney. D. Okay. He's killing him right now. He just finished something with, with Young Money. Yeah. Uh, Tiger from Young Money. So you really got to catch that. He's a, he's a beast. Okay. He's a beast. He's next up. And I'm going to tell you that. Um, got Sean Johnson. My artist, Michaela Page, 15 year old pop artist. She's yeah. working on with something with Sony right now. Larry Campbell, shout out to him. Okay. You know what I mean? She's really killing it. She's right. international, topping, chart topping, and Latin charts, German charts. She's doing it. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited for her with her, and um, she's working with some top producers right now, including um, Ken Jackson from Crazy Baby Entertainment. That's what's up. Yes. 
Let's give it up for you. You know what I mean? And yeah. tell them, you know what I mean, the people where they can reach you at the Well, the people, I tell you again, you can go to just Sidney McDonald Facebook. Every exposure, entertainment, ma- uh, management of every exposure, and every is E V E R I exposure. You know, and I just want to make sure that maybe I wanted to close off by saying. Yeah. I wasn't here to disrespect, son. Nah, I was hoping that in some sort of way that he'll rethink his actions and reach out and make something happen because I got some serious artists out there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and just for these artists that, you know, I'm looking for. And I want these you know artists I mean? to reach out to me, yeah. too, because I'm looking for some real hot artists. Okay. And I want to help develop and invest in some of these artists. We got That's one point two, two million dollars invested in this MMA event. I just want to let y'all know that. Yeah. For the next for the rest of the year, 1.2 million. Shout out wow. to Mike Molas. Uh, he's, he's like the Don King promoter of this whole thing. Man. Okay, let's go, man. Superstar Radio.